Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're gonna look at the decals and I'm gonna do a short introduction for you so that you will be able to create your own decals starting right now. So without further ado let's just jump right into it. I already imported the textures for my decals from the Quixel bridge and uh, I'm just gonna right click create a material and uh, I'm gonna name it uh, decal1 then double click to open it and uh, all you need to do is go into the details panel uh, and change the material domain from surface to deferred decal and the blend mode from opaque to translucent but you can also use modulate or alpha composite but the reason why I don't use those is uh, as you can see right now it has uh, less nodes that you can uh, work with so it doesn't have ambient occlusion or normal map and it's super frustrating, that's why I only use translucent blend mode. So for now just set it to translucent and we'll continue from there. For my first example I'm gonna use this uh, wood carving texture and I'm just gonna drag and drop the textures in here and plug them into the right slots. And after you plug all of these you just click on save. Now to place it, just simply drag and drop the material and it will automatically create a decal for you. And as you can see, it has some sort of a wireframe box around it, which is basically the area that will be covered with the decal. So it will not project it infinitely, but uh, inside that cube. And obviously you can rotate it, you can scale it and uh, move it around. But make sure this arrow faces the object, otherwise it will create an uh, unrealistic effect, it will be very dark. So yeah, that's the only thing to keep in mind. And as you can see, well maybe this isn't the best example with the wood carvings on brick, but uh, let's say you have a graffiti on a wall like this, and you basically just want to project the graffiti and also retain the normal map of the brick. So I'm going to show you right now how you can do that. It's very simple. First I'm going to delete this one, open the content drawer and create another material, which I will call decal2. Now I'm going to double click to open it and just change the parameters here to differ decal and translucent. And I'm going to import these textures from Quixel of a graffiti wall that I'm going to plug in real quick. Okay, now I'm just going to drag and drop it as well. And I'm gonna rotate it and I'm gonna scale it up a bit so that we can see better. And now you can see that this looks very flat. It's not, it doesn't look like it's, it belongs to the wall at all. But there's one, one change that we need to make. So I'm gonna open the editor and you can see that I've just plugged in a normal. So basically what happens is that each texture that you plug in here is gonna override the one that is projected onto. So if we put a normal map it's gonna count that not the one below it but there is one problem though you can see that the details are really nice but if I move a bit far away you can see that it's starting to fade away and the effect basically is invisible right now but that doesn't happen when uh, you're using a parallax occlusion mapping material so I'm just gonna um, copy it over here and now you can see that the details are very nice and if we go far away it's still visible compared to the other one so don't know why that happens let me know in the comments if you know a solution to this I tried to do some uh, fixing but with no results and now I want to show you like what if we want to overlap more decals together so I'm just gonna copy this one on top of it and uh, you can see that here it says sort order. Now I'm just gonna uh, copy another one right here and scale it down for example. Now it retained the order because we copied them uh, one after another but uh, you can also change the order by going to this button right here. Uh, the sort order. If you select a decal, for example this small one, I'm gonna put it uh, to number one and the top one to number two and it will go uh, on top of the previous one so 
if I set the first one to three, it will overlap those because three is more than one and two. I hope this makes sense. I'm not sure how to explain it, but it's pretty straightforward, I guess. And with that, we are done. Here's a little showcase picture that I created. Now, I really hope this was useful to you. And if it did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more uploads. And uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Goodbye.